Lie on your back with your knees bent and feet together, stretching your arms at shoulder level, palms up. Take a moment to relax. Breathing in, roll your knees to the right. Breathing out, rest your knees on the floor and turn your left palm down. Breathe in again as you pull your knees back up, feet flat. Roll your knees to the left, bringing them to the floor and turning your left palm up. Turn your head to the right and your right hand down. Come out of the twist again, turning your right palm up. Now continue at your own pace as you repeat this pose on both sides. So again, breathe out, knees to the right as you turn your left palm down and head to the left. Hold for a moment. Breathing in, knees up. Left palm up and go to the other side. Breathe out, knees to the left. Right palm down, head to the right. This should be getting familiar by now, so let's do it one more time. Breathe in, knees up, right palm up. Breathing out, take your knees to the right, turn your left palm down, and turn your head to the left. Breathe in, knees up, and settle back to the center, gently hugging your knees to your chest. On your back for a pose I call wave breathing, an exercise that helps coordinate breath with movement. Breathing in, gently push your knees forward over your hips. Just a normal breath, not a deep one. Breathing out, pull your knees back to your chest. Continue at your own pace. Each breath in, knees over hips. Breathing out, pull the knees to the chest. Feel how your thighs press gently into your abdomen as you exhale. This gentle pressure helps you to breathe out fully and tones the diaphragm. Continue with this pattern that coordinates movement with breath. Knees over hips, breathing in. Knees to chest, breathing out. Settle into the rhythm of the exercise. Feeling how it flows up and down the spine. You may want to adjust your spine. This exercise also promotes easy, relaxed breathing and calms your mind. Do another cycle or two. Inhale, knees over hips. Exhale, knees to chest. As you breathe in, your belly expands, letting you easily inhale. As you breathe out, your thighs press your belly, enhancing the exhalation. To end, 
release your knees, bringing your feet back to the floor, and linger here, staying focused on the gentle, rhythmic breath that's flowing through you and waking you up. The next pose we're going to do is reclining cobbler's pose. Though not necessary at all, this pose can be very relaxing when your legs are supported. So I'm showing you how to set yourself up. Place a blanket, blocks, or a cushion to each side of your mat. Now lying flat on your back, Bring the soles of your feet together, your knees apart, and rest your arms at your sides. How do your knees feel? If you'd like a little bit more support, simply adjust your props to the size that's most comfortable for you. Now close your eyes and bring your attention to your belly. The goal of reclining cobbler's pose is to both undo tension in the abdomen and create a focal point for a meditation, a way to bring your mind into focus. Begin picking up the rhythm of your own breathing, allowing each breath out to let your belly relax and fall back into the body. Undoing tension from the belly is more difficult than you might expect. But it is really just letting go and your breath out will help you with that. This pose also helps to free tight muscles in the inner hips that can increase flexibility. Give yourself a couple of minutes or even longer to begin this gradual unraveling, adjusting your position, widening the hips and lengthening the spine if you wish. Though resting quietly, your mind stays focused and your breathing continues to promote a feeling of flow and release. The belly grows calm, deep and wide. Allow your legs to fall completely into the supports provided by the blankets. Allowing your body to settle into a completely effortless, easy, but conscious breath rhythm. Quiet mind, quiet belly, tremendous focus. Don't rush to come out of this pose, but when you're ready, Using your hands, pull your knees together and to the chest. Move your blankets away and roll to your side, resting your head on your arm for a moment. 
and coming up to sit. Reclining leg stretch is practiced lying on your back. Lying on your back while working towards greater flexibility in your hips and legs lessens your chance of tweaking the lower back. So this is a perfect pose for those stiff morning muscles. Also, I suggest you use a strap at least in the beginning, to help you do the pose more easily. So have your strap nearby, and holding your left knee, breathe in, stretch your right leg up, and lengthen the back of your leg, keeping the foot active as you lower it to the floor. Do this slowly, and continue stretching the back of your leg, even when the heel comes to the floor. Now, gently push your left knee into your hands. You'll feel a response in your left hip. This is getting the blood flowing into the joint and strengthening the hip at the same time. Continue to keep your right leg active. Now, take your strap and loop it around the ball of your left foot, keeping your left knee slightly bent. If you don't have a strap, you can hold the back of your leg with your hands. And if you're quite flexible, you can hold your big toe with the index and middle finger of your left hand. But you need to be able to keep your right leg extended and your left shoulder relaxed. I encourage you to move at an honest pace. Now, slowly begin to straighten your left knee, just as much as you can. Again, keep the right leg active. Your goal is to balance the action between the right and left leg. Bending your left knee and then re-straightening it a couple of times may help you get more comfortable. But again, don't overdo this. Don't rush it. Just coax these muscles into moving slowly towards greater extension. This pose is more challenging than you might expect. A sedentary lifestyle can cause your leg and hip muscles, even your lower back, to become quite tight. Still, chances are you were once much more flexible than you are now. So with patient practice, you will be again, restoring what is naturally yours. Even holding this stretch for a minute or two, you may find yourself able to straighten your knee a little more. Certainly your breath may relax. And when you're ready, release and hug your knees to your chest pausing for a moment to feel the sensations resonating from the stretch you just finished. You may even feel a little bit more open and light. Now hold your right knee. Breathing in, stretch the left leg up. Hold that position a moment, feeling the width and length of your back leg. Now slowly lower that leg to the floor, keeping it active Pause while the foot is still in the air to enhance the activity of the back leg, calf stretching all the way to the heel, even as you bring your heel down. Holding your knee, exhale and push your knee into your hands, holding it for a few seconds. Again, feel the muscles in your right hip engage. They're waking up. As you hold your right knee, continue to extend your left leg. The more your hamstrings and calves flow towards your heel, the more you're going to be able to press the left thigh into your mat. 
and this in turn will isolate the action of this pose to your hips. Now holding a strap or your toe, pause for a moment to make sure your left leg is still active and then slowly, beginning with the breath in and moving with the breath out, straighten your right leg. Remember, your leg may not straighten completely today or for quite a while. This pose is much more about surrender than it is about effort. And maintaining a steady, relaxed breath will help. There's no hurry. Patience and persistence are the key. Continue to focus on the work of the floor leg, even though the sensations in the right leg are probably stronger. And if you want to bend your right knee a little bit or loosen the grip on the belt to make this pose feel steadier and more balanced, then that's what you do. And there is nothing much better you can do for your lower back than to become flexible in your hips and legs. So stay with this, make small adjustments. Bending and re-straightening your right knee when you need to. And just savoring the stretch of waking up your muscles. Breathing in, Bend both knees and gently hug them to your chest as you breathe out. And pause for a moment to savor the feeling. Lying on your back, pull your knees towards your chest to begin Reclining belly twist. Holding your left knee, stretch your right leg into the air and with a good slow breath out, lower it to the floor, keeping it active the whole time you're in this pose. On your next breath in, roll to your right, bringing your knee on or near the floor and stretch your left arm up. If this pulls your lower back, move your left hip over towards your knee more or put your knee on a block. On your next breath in, stretch your left arm out to the left, bringing it about halfway to the floor. And keep the arm active. This isn't just about position. Turn your head to gaze at your hand. And keeping your hand raised, exhale, pressing your left shoulder toward the mat. This will increase the work in your upper back muscles and really wring some of the tension out of your upper back. Keep your breath steady. Breathing in, roll onto your back and hug your knees in. Now hold your right knee and stretch your left leg up. With a good out breath, lower your leg to the floor, keeping it active the whole way and throughout the twist. Breathing in, roll to your left, bringing the right knee to the floor or to a block, and stretch your right arm up. Breathing in, reach out to the right, and breathing out, stretch the arm about halfway to the floor, turning your head to gaze at your hand. your right shoulder blade pushing towards your hand. 
to open your shoulders more. And without lowering your hand, exhale your right shoulder to the floor. And then you could do that again. Exhale and press the shoulder to the floor again. Don't hold your breath. Now breathing in, roll onto your back again. With a nice exhale, hug your knees to your chest. The ideal position for meditation is sitting upright with a straight spine. And ideally, you sit on the floor in a cross leg position as I'm demonstrating. Notice how I've placed a folded blanket under my hips. If you can't sit on the floor and keep your spine straight, I suggest sitting in a chair. Your meditation will be just as deep. So spine straight, Slide your hands up your thighs to bring your shoulders gently back. Keep your head upright and close your eyes. Bringing your breath's rhythm into focus. This focus on the breath brings your mind to attention and calms it. Feel the cool sensation of your breath as it comes in through your nose and down the throat to the chest. And the easy, steady sensation of the breath out. Everyone's mind wanders. That's the purpose of a focal point. Let your thoughts float by unattended and focus instead on your breathing. Now bring your palms together at your chest and bow your head. Namaste. Ideally, we finish each yoga practice resting in a pose called Shavasana, corpse pose. You lie on your back in a pose I call constructive rest, knees bent, feet flat, and by all means put a support under your head as I'm demonstrating if you feel any tightness in your neck, shoulders, or face. Rest your arms on the floor and relax your shoulders. You can take your arms a little wider if that helps your shoulders rest even more. With your knees bent, your lower back can relax, allowing you to now straighten your legs and let them fall open and still be comfortable in the lower back. If your back does hurt, simply bend your knees and place your feet on the floor again. Now with your eyes closed, simply fall back into your pose. You've stretched and strengthened your muscles, squeezed out tension, 
and waked yourself up. So you can now, and feel this, lie on your back and simply fall into the floor. Turn your attention to your breathing, the soothing rhythm of the breath in and out will help you relax any tension that remains in your muscles. Feel the body gently expand as you breathe in and just as gently relax with each breath out and feel how the breath out allows you to sink more deeply into the floor. The floor begins to feel soft. Allow your belly to completely soften. And let that softness radiate out through your legs and arms. Nothing but relaxing. It's not something you can make happen. You simply let go so deeply that you simply witness the gentle rhythm of breathing in and out and your body falling back into the earth below. Now rolling slowly to your right, rest your head on your arm for a moment and bend your knees. And when you're ready, come up to sit, joining your palms together at your chest. Namaste.